When it comes to artifacts on this earth, you could be forgiven for thinking that there are very few left to learn about. In fact, we are barely even scratching the surface. For the past couple of hundred years, so-called experts from Europe and America have went out and freely explored our planet in search of ancient objects and structures from the empire that existed in the very remote past. The discoveries that they made were there to be found in the first place and they expertly explained away their discoveries within the imagination of their mind that the education system allowed them to think about in the boundaries of their minds. In Mali, for example, there is a statue of a woman carved into the mountainside and the estimated age of construction of this ancient masterpiece is an incredible 20,000 years old. Who was this lady and what civilization was responsible for the stunning construction? You would have to consider that the timeline of this piece would put it before the Great Flood and that the history of what we have been told of who we are should be put into serious question when it comes to sites like this. Even the Moa we see at Easter Island is far older than what we are being told. Consider the weight of the Moa. The sheer scale of these monuments has forced them under the dirt over thousands of years, yet we are led to believe they were built much more recent. It is crazy. The experts really do scramble for answers when it comes to ancient sites across the globe, and it is as if we, the gullible, are just waiting for their explanations they offer and believing what they tell us at face value. It's a joke. This isn't very funny when you realize this. Anyway, guys, you've seen the giant stone head that was discovered in the jungles of Guatemala. Just wait till you hear this. Many researchers would agree that the jungles of Guatemala and surrounding countries hide great secrets of mighty ancient civilizations that ruled the lands in the distant past. From ancient temples and mysterious civilizations, anything can be discovered in these jungles. One of the most mysterious of these findings is surely the giant stone head. An image was taken very well over half a century ago, sometime in the 1950s, by the owner of the land who died before he could reveal the location of the statue. In 1987, investigators finally reached the site only to discover it had been obliterated by the revolution 10 years earlier. The destruction of the head meant the story died a rapid death until it was picked up again a few years back by the filmmakers behind Revelations of the Mayans and Beyond, who used the photograph to claim that extraterrestrials have had contact with past civilizations. The producers published a document written by Guatemalan archaeologist Hector E. Maha, who wrote, I certify that this monument presents no characteristics of Mayan, Nahatal, Almec, or any other prehistoric civilizations. It was created by an extraordinary and superior civilization with awesome knowledge of which there is no record of existence on this planet. The finding of Stonehead in a country littered with Stoneheads isn't really something to get terribly excited about, except for the fact that this head looks nothing like any of the others. All other known examples of card heads in the region showed a clear anthropological consistency. This one seemed to depict someone altogether different. Thin, pronounced lips, shallow cheeks, closed eyelids, a large nose, and his facing tilting skyward from the neck, resembling the Easter Island statues slightly. Could there somehow be a connection between Easter Island and Guatemala? Is this stone head an effort to replicate the ones from the island? Just a thought. It is unknown if the head is still in a quarried state or if it is toppled over or even buried up to its neck like the Easter Island statues. It is strange to think that if this photograph did not exist, then we would never have known about the statue. It makes you wonder what else has been lost through the ages. What else could be lying in the jungle of South America waiting to be discovered? What do you guys think of this anyway? Comments below and thank you for watching.